In this video, we are going to discuss about coding for information exchange. So why do we need that coding? In the previous few videos, we have seen that how different number systems are implemented in the computer. However, numbers are not the only entities that need to be handled by the computer. They also need to handle alphabets, special characters, logical operators, arithmetic operators. So they need to have code for all these code that can be represented in the form of 0 and 1. Why? Because the computer understands only 0 and 1. So computer needs to have a complete set of alphanumeric codes. These alphanumeric codes should cover the 26 upper case letters that is capital A to Z, 26 lower case letters that is 26 A to Z lower level letters, 10 digits 0 to 9, 7 punctuation marks and anywhere between 20 to 40 special characters. Special characters like greater than, equal to, comma, slashes, etc. Computer understands only numeric values. What numeric values? 0 and 1. So, all characters must have a numeric equivalent which is called the alphanumeric code. The most widely used alphanumeric code is the ASCII code, A-S-C-I-I, -I, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. ASCII is a 7-bit code that has 128 possible codes. How this value 128 has come? It is a 7-bit code. So, 2 to the power of 7 possible numbers are there. Let's look at this characters. 0, 1, 2, you can see the numbers till 9, then A to Z, then small letters, A to Z, then some of the characters are shown here. This is not a complete ASCII code. You have some more special characters. We also have a ISCII, Indian Script Code for Information Interchange. Now you might ask that if ASCII is already there and universally accepted, why do we need an ISCII? Because the ASCII code will not support the characters of our own languages. Devnagri, Tamil, Bangla, Gujarati, Gurmukhi, Telugu and many other languages. They have their own characters. So they also need to be represented as alphanumeric code so that we can use them. Otherwise, we will only have to use the English characters. The ISCII has been mostly used by government departments. Now, this also means that all the other countries in the world who have their own languages will need to have alphanumeric code different for each of their needs. Then, if at some place all these people gather together their documents, then there will be an overlap because all of them are having their own individual coding. So, to overcome this, a Unicode was developed. What essentially is the Unicode? International coding system designed to be used with different language scripts. So, now using Unicode, you can have alphanumeric code for your own language. You can have it for other foreign languages like Spanish, French, German, whatever you can think of, Chinese, Mandarin. Each character or symbol is assigned a unique numeric value within the framework of the ASCII. What does that mean? It means that ASCII has only been expanded so that other can be included. This is what the Unicode officially aims to do. Unicode provides a unique number for every character, no matter what the platform, type of platform that you are using, no matter what the program, whatever program, whatever software you are using, no matter what the language, whatever language you are using that product in, that software in, you are trying to develop a software in a different language, you can use the Unicode. So basically Unicode is a great breakthrough in globalizing the computer languages. In this video, we have seen the coding for information exchange. In the next few videos, we are going to see how we can convert the different number systems, the decimal, binary, octal, hexadecimal into each other.